everyone and if you're new here welcome if not welcome back <laughs> before the pandemic hit bali was one of the world's most popular travel destinations there's so much to see and do there so if you haven't been you must add it to your list of travel places to go ASAP. Now, here we are with five things you need to know to plan accordingly. Number one, what to pack. Bali is very close to the equator, so you can expect high temperatures and high humidity year round. Knowing that sunscreen is something you don't want to leave home without. Next, being as though Bali is a tropical island, mosquitoes are a given and bug spray is necessary. Here's the type of bug spray that we use during our trip and we'll be sure to link it in the description box below. Lastly, you want to be sure to pack lightweight clothes and comfortable shoes. This is very essential for all the walking that you'll do in the excursions that we will talk about very soon. Number two, the island. When we visited Bali, we stayed in three primary locations, Ubud, Semiak, and Kuta. Kuta gives very urban and inner city type vibes. Um, there's a lot of people, busy traffic, and small shops everywhere you look. Now, Ubud, on the other hand, is the complete opposite. It's extremely relaxing and peaceful. So if you're looking for a romantic, relaxing getaway, then Ubud is the primary location you need to focus on when traveling to Bali. Now, Simiak has lots of fun pool parties and beach clubs that you can go to. So if you're traveling in a group with friends or if you're just looking to be really social, Simiak is definitely the place to be. And lastly, we also visited Nusa Penida during our stay. But there are several other beautiful places to consider adding to your trip, including Uluwatu and the Gillies. Number three, currency. We highly recommend this app called the Currency Converter. We use it on all of our trips and it helps keep us mindful of the current currency conversion rates wherever we are in the world. The currency used in Bali is Indonesian Rupiah. The current exchange rate, according to the app, is 14,517 Indonesian Rupiah to one US dollar. So as you see, our US dollar goes a long way there. Now that's facts. But one other important thing to remember when it comes to currency is bargaining. Just about everything you pay for outside of branded establishments is negotiable. So never go for the first price they give you. Always offer something like one fifth of what they ask for and you'll more than likely end up something below than half of what they, what they offered. Number four, transportation. In Bali, most people get around on scooters. They don't have Uber there, so you'll need to download either Grab or Gojek. That's essentially the same as the rideshare programs that we use back home. An alternative to that is to actually plan your days in advance and hire a driver. That's what we did for a lot of the excursion pack days on our trip. Lastly, be sure to download an area map via Google Maps before you leave home. That way, even if you don't have Wi-Fi, you'll still have a map. And if you feel the need to have internet throughout the day, most convenience stores offer SIM cards to help you do so. Number five, activities. When traveling to a place like Bali, it's extremely important to plan out your activities and excursions, just simply due to the sheer number of things to do and places to go. If you plan on being there for two weeks or less, you'll want to make the best use of your time by planning ahead. With that said, we suggest hiring a personal guide to customize your experience. Also, be sure to download WhatsApp so you can stay in communication with your drivers, hotel, tour guides, and whoever else you may come in contact with. Also, consider downloading apps like Airbnb and Get Your Guide. They have several attractions and excursions to kind of help you get a feel for what you want to put on your list. Be sure to visit any of the mini rice terraces, the Bali Swing, any of the beautiful waterfalls, the gates of heaven, the sacred monkey forest, the elephant sanctuary, and most of all, don't forget to take a trip to Nusa Penida. With this list, we're sure you're ready to start planning your trip to Bali. Also, be sure to let us know if there's anything else about our experience that you'd like us to share. We do offer travel planning services and would love to help you make the most of your trip regardless of your budget. Thank you for watching. Be blessed. And don't forget to subscribe. And like. <laughs> and comment. <laughs> and share. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs>